my motto is to learn is that they, we know you, you live right, you, you eat right, you get exercise. We know you, you really live a very healthy lifestyle. But she said that accidents do happen. And my biological father just shook his head and said, no, he doesn't even believe in accidents. And I don't. Uh, I don't think it's a random universe. Who would want to live in a random universe? And so I got into that state where I started to realize that it was my thinking, my judgmental thinking, that was unhealthy. And that when I got into this divine providence, I was able to stop, to give up health insurance, didn't have to worry about eating the right foods anymore. Uh, it's a blast. I didn't even, I was a tennis instructor, cardiovascular fitness. I didn't even have to exercise. Uh, I believed years ago that the body would atrophy if you didn't exercise it. That's a belief too. Uh, there's nothing going wrong with me. I don't, I don't even exercise. I mean, nothing. Uh, you know, it's like, you, you see, my dad had all this guilt about I'm not eating the right food, I'm not exercising enough, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny. And that's what the universe has to do. It tries to keep you guilty, caught up into all these meaningless little things that really don't matter in the, in the overall context of things. And, and God wants you to be happy. That's it. God doesn't, you know, have some kind of a plan where you have to, you know, do, attain some great thing. He just wants you to be happy in the present moment. That's all God wants. And once I realized that, that that was God's will for me, then I said, that's good news. I can, I'm going for that one. <laughs> I like this happiness idea. So, in answer to what your question was, honey, um, it, it is an inner job. And I put my heart and soul and everything into this purification in my mind. Um, because I knew that that was what was necessary. And I was also able to pull my energy away from the wild goose chase of running around in the world uh, trying to keep up with the Joneses and, you know, I let go of self-improvement. Uh, God told me I was perfect just the way I was right now. So I let go of even the concept of, of self-improvement or becoming uh, a spiritual person or becoming enlightened or becoming whatever. It's all still future-oriented and really right now is the kingdom of heaven is right now the kingdom of heaven is within. You don't need to look to a person, a place, a thing. Because as they say in the Matrix, you are the one. <laughs> it's good news. Uh, I'm not into numbers. 
typically when I do gatherings, people are concerned about getting enough people all there, and you know, all that. I say, oh, forget about it. You know, it's like, like they say to the Italians, ah, oh, forget about it. Forget about it. You know, it's like, why get concerned about numbers? Um, I'm happy to be wherever I seem to be, and I'm very content. So uh, that's. In answer to your question, it's like staying riveted on your purpose and really waking up in the morning and, and having that out front and holding it out front like a torch. Then you're, you're set. Any other questions? Since it is the one center and everyone always has um, relationship issues at some point. And it seems to me that the ultimate holy relationship is that we all return to one and return to God. So there is no idea of separation. Can you just expand a little bit on what we talked about this morning about the ego's idea of falling in love or out of love and the ego's perception of what love is and what the Holy Spirit's perception of what love is and what one really is? Good. Uh, Tom addressed the question on relationships. Um, in this world, relationships are mirrors. Uh, you should always be grateful for all your brothers and sisters around you because they're simply reflecting what you still are holding in your consciousness. And that's, they're held unconsciously. And you, you have no other way, really, to get in touch with them except when you see somebody and you're ready to jump on them and scream at them. <laughs> you, you've got a clue that you've got something still in your consciousness that, that is uh, less than truthful. <laughs> and so... Uh, in order to come to the oneness, you really start to realize that, that oneness is, a, is an interaction or a, alignment with your source. And when you're aligned with your source, you are automatically aligned with everyone, with everyone and everything. So, stop bringing up relationships because um, a lot of the traditional spiritual paths, you know, go off to the Himalayas and get away from people, <laughs> just meditate. Uh, what I, my path was, I had people around me a lot, and I did have my hermitage experiences, but I learned to use relationships to get in touch with what my own inner blocks were. Never to blame them, never to scapegoat, never to point the finger and say that they're the problem. When the Holy Spirit inside me kept saying, everywhere I went, all I heard was this one thing, uh, it's your own lesson, it's your own lesson, it's your own lesson. I heard that over and over and over, so even though when I was tempted to say, but, <laughs> but what about it? The Spirit would always gently say, it's your own love. Don't try to change it out there. So I think um, it's great to be able to use relationships to come to this clearing of the mind. And um, we talk a lot about that. In fact, a lot of my tapes and CDs and writings are about relationships. and and coming to holy relationship, learning to let go of uh, special relationships and grievances and judgments, and learning to appreciate and love everyone. In fact, I, I don't know if we have a oh, sound system is, but is this the room that we have in there? Um, I've got a song called Now That We All Are One. <laughs> and since it's the one that's better, um, I like to try to play that so we all can hear it. And uh, just close your eyes and relax. And the song has a lot of great lines in it, but uh, one of the lines in the song is, let us toss away the thoughts of many years. You know, it can seem like a very heavy thought to think how many years is it going to take, it, take us before we experience this oneness. And what this song is saying is, we're one right now, and it's okay to give your mind toss away the thoughts of many years. Just go in and feel your oneness, feel your love and your joy and your happiness right now. It's in the uh, it's in the boombox. It's in the boombox. It's in the boombox.